there are a couple of encouraging ideas that I find in the letter to the Philippians. One, I think, is just the idea that this church, from its very inception, was very supportive of Paul. And I, I find that just a remarkable reality, uh, something to aspire to. Today, with um, churches changing pastors often, um, in our own American context, people move a lot, we lose touch, all of that. Well, Paul was traveling all over, uh, didn't get back to see them as often as he would like, and yet he can say in this letter, you have been with me from the start. Like Paul felt deeply that they were committed to him. And, and I, I find that just a wonderful encouragement for today. Uh, whether uh, if you are a pastor, uh, I would hope you would have members of your congregation or friends that you've known for a long time that are always with you. And I would aspire myself to be like that to others, that they would know, yeah, for the last, uh, we have a couple of uh, friends I can think of, 20 years, 30 years, we've just been there for each other. So I find that a wonderful encouragement in the letter. And then secondly, I would say Paul's continued um, encouragement to rejoice. Uh, over and over again in the letter. And we're, we're to have joy and to rejoice, not because our circumstances are good or will get better in this life necessarily, but because God is, uh, is with us, that Christ is victorious, and that we are being shaped into Christ's image and will be fully transformed when Christ returns. And so Paul can say, yes, I, I rejoice. And so I find that a great encouragement.